What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the Razer gear that I use and how I use the Razer Synapse program to make macros and scripts for World of Warcraft. Uh, the first piece of gear that I love and I don't think I'll ever stop using it is this right here. This is the Razer Orb Weaver. Some people don't realize the power that this thing has. I know a lot of people are used to using the keyboard, you know, for first person shooter, you know, or, you know, all your key bindings, especially a press and shift control and alt on the keyboard. Okay, now I have a disability. I'm missing a pinky in my left hand. So I really can't press control shift or alt on my keyboard. I have problems. I've tried. Look, it doesn't, I can't, it doesn't work. It's, it, it doesn't work. It's one of the reasons why I like this equipment so much. Now I used to use the N52 powered by Razer back in the day. I've been using the, the N52 even before I started using the Razer Naga, even before that. And I would say that's about, it's gotta be over 10 years. Cause when I started World of Warcraft, that's when I, that's when I had this gear. Has it been that long, 10 years? All right, so I never thought that the N52 could be improved upon. And Razer did it. Razer made the Nostromo and then they came up with the Tartarus and then the Orb Weaver. The original one had a scroll wheel right here, which I really loved. And that, that's something that I really wish that uh, Razer would have put into this one. But they made up for the fact that there's no scroll wheel and they added a whole bunch of buttons on the side. Now, these are all mechanical keys, so you can hear it. So it's a, they're a little bit more sensitive, um, I would say, to get used to, but once you, once you start getting used, you know, as a, as a PVPer, you tend to smash keys. Ah! <laughs> smash your keys, smash your keys. PVP trinket, smash that thumb, you know, oh, for me. Smash that button. But in this one, I, had to, I started getting used to doing it light, light, light touch. It's like, you hear it? Look up, down, back, forward. You can actually bind eight keys just on this, the thumb alone. Now look at the difference. We have, this is the Black Widow Ultimate. Um, I actually have three Black Widow Ultimates and I use three Razor Nagas. Um, one, I'm sorry, one of the Nagas is the 2014. I have a 2014 one. This is the Razor Naga Chroma. Uh, and over here we have another Naga 2014. Okay, so what do you normally do on a keyboard? Okay, your hand sits here. What does your thumb do? The only thing it can do, press jump, jump around, jump, 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 and get down. So that's all your thumb does is jump. That is a weakness for your thumb. Now let me show you what, what I do with the Orb Weaver. Now you guys are gonna understand why that's overpowered. So you got the four way directional. So jump for me is up, press up, PVP trick it down, shift modifier forward. So when I press forward as a shift modifier, Ah! All 12 of my Razer Naga keys become an extra 12 set of keys. Backward, it changes my stances. Like if I'm, a, if I'm an arms warrior and I press this, it, it changes the stances. Okay, so there's four buttons right there. You can, however, bind it. To, there's an eight-way directional that you can bind to. So you can actually make eight-way, but then you'd have to do the diagonal. I don't have it set at, at eight-way because these are very precise movements that I, I need. So I only set for four, but you can set it for eight buttons. So look at that. Then there's another button right here. I use this as a control modifier. As a control mo modifier, it lets the, the 12 buttons become an extra 12 buttons. That's just a lot of buttons, right? Okay, so, and then there's another button right here. So there's four, five, six for me. You could possibly do 10 buttons on a thumb. So jump versus 10 buttons on your thumb. So we're powered. Uh, over here, the mechanical keys are, these are all mechanical keys. You can listen, they feel really nice. Uh, it's chroma, so it, it lights up and you can actually set the, you can set the colors or you can do the waves or you can set it, you can set it reactive. I can set it reactive right now so you can see it. Spectrum cycling. Oh, that, no, that spectral cycling cycles through a bunch of different colors. It's really nice. Oh, setatic is, a, is, is just one color. I can go to ripple. Ripple is so when I click it, looks pretty cool, right? Um, you can also change it to um, a wave. That's the wave. That's the one that I always have. That one. Breathing. What does breathing do? Oh, it just breathes. Reactive. That's cool. I personally like spectrum cycling. Just cycles through all the colors. Now the difference between the Tartarus and the Orb Weaver, the difference is just one set of, uh, one more row of key bindings. Now, for some people it might be diff difficult to reach them. It would be kind of like 
reaching the F keys on a keyboard. So I actually put abilities here that I normally don't use that much. Like for example, my focus target would be this one. Um, possibly, you know, a, a special mount or a special pet or maybe even drop in like a banner, a war banner on something. Uh, something that I don't use that, that much. This one here is uh, alt tabbing. So um, I mainly use these two and these two I just, I put things that I normally don't use that much. This also has a way of a, I hope I don't, you know, I have the perfect setting. I, I'm doing this for the video. If you pull this out, then you can adjust, you can adjust this. And you can also pull this out. If you press this button right here, you can, you can make it longer or shorter in case you have longer hands. Did I, I just uncalibrated it. I had it set perfectly. All right, there we go. This is to avoid carpal tunnel. Your hand sits perfectly on there. And okay, the buttons, they go straight up and down. All right, here's another advantage that I think uh, the Orb Weaver has over the keyboard. Now, if you look at the key bindings on the keyboard, Q, A, Z, they're in a diagonal, right? The W, S, and X, like everything's in a diagonal. So that's because of typing, you know? Th these keyboards are designed uh, for typing. So like say for example, S, the, my, middle, my middle finger has to go down to press the X, it has to go diagonal. So you have to go like that to click it, you know what I mean? Look at the difference between the Orb Weaver. The buttons are straight up and down. There is no tweaking your fingers. It makes the buttons a lot easier to press, you know? This is the, the directional movements right here. And then if I, all I have to do is just go down, straight down, straight down, straight down. It's a lot easier. It's amazing. I love it. It's an awesome device. Like, I'll never get rid of it. I was actually so scared that, for example, when the N52 came out, I was so scared that they were gonna stop making that device that I actually stocked up on them. Like I bought, I think I bought two or three extra ones and I just kept them in my closet. If Razer ever stopped making them, I wanted to have a constant supply. Cause I, I this, is, this is probably, I think the best piece of equipment. I even like this more than the Razer Naga. Like I can, I can possibly play without a Naga it would be difficult, but I definitely can't play without this. If I go to, let, let's say, if I go to an event and I wanna go live stream somewhere and I don't have this, I can't play. <laughs> I can't play. I'll get wrecked, man. I, people just dominate me in PvP, no way. This is, this, this is the secret to my success. I can't be without it. All right, before I show you some of the PvP that I do with the Orb Weaver, first thing I'm gonna show you is the program and some of the macros that you can actually do with this. I'm gonna give you one of the one of the macros that I use the most, the heroic leap. Let me show you how I program it and how I make it um, to implement into the game. So the first thing is you're gonna need the Razer Synapse. I usually bind all the key bindings. I change all the key bindings to actual keystrokes on the keyboard. These highlighted areas are actually macros. So let's go make a macro real quick. By the way, I have an alt tab macro. That's one of my other uh, key bindings. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Here we go, if I press this button, it alt tabs between the two screens. So that's just an alt tab macro that I that I just created, but we're gonna make a new macro right now, okay? Um, we're gonna make a new one. Let's call it a heroic. That way, so it, it appears like at the beginning. All right, to make the heroic leap macro, I'm gonna need N on my keyboard. I'm gonna be, and I'm also gonna use left mouse click. So let's go over here, press N on the keyboard. And now on the Razer Naga Chroma, I'm gonna hit left click. There we go. And now I just stop it and it's saved. And we called this a heroic. So we're gonna go to the keypad option and I'm gonna go pick a button. Uh, let's do this one, which is the R key. Um, I'm gonna go macro, find it. It's called a heroic, right? A heroic, where are you at? There it is. Play it once. Uh, these are the options, play it once, play it multiple times, or you can uh, toggle continuous playback on and off or play while key sign is oppressed. I like play while key, while key sign is oppressed. That way I can spam it, because I want to spam it, because I want to, that's an ability I want to spam, so I can make sure I land, especially when I jump off of a high place. So it should be binded already to this key binding right here. You have to press N on the keyboard, and then you have to aim where you want to land the heroic leap. That's what you do normally, but what this is going to do, it's going to let me do two in one. So I just aim where I want to go, right there, and then on the, on the orb weaver, I just press the button for heroic leap. Bam, you, it, it, it goes off so fast you don't even see the green little thing. It's awesome. And it actually helps me survive really long drops. I fall off a cliff or something like that. I can actually spam the button or keep the button pressed and it, I autom it automatically lands. I don't have to worry about dying ever. These are some of the other key bindings that I have. This is jump up, press up, and it's mechanical. So it's 
really nice. You don't have to press it very hard. Uh, backward, right now I have it set on a macro. It's like a toy. Down is a PVP trinket. And forward is a, a modifier. So if I press forward and then I press number five on my Razor Naga Chroma, it mounts up. So by pressing this button as a modifier, it gives me 12 new buttons. This is also another modifier too. Uh, gives me another 12 buttons. So we'll go over we'll go over this real quick so you can see um, the mod. I go to the side view. Uh, this is the forward is my shift modifier and this is my space. This is my alt modifier. Some of the other key bindings that I use on the Naga are, for example, this this button right here. This is taunt for me, like I can taunt mobs. And this second button is run forward. That's just for me. I'm always alt tabbing, so I like running forward and, you know, I tab back in and I'm a little bit closer to my destination. It happens to me in PvE. The middle mouse squirrel wheel also does left and right click. I have it set on specific key bindings for PvP, including the ignore pain um, ability. You can also press left click and press down. My press down is also another modifier. I think it's an alt modifier, if I'm not mistaken. Shift, Alt, or Control is one of those modifiers. All right, so we'll go into the lighting real quick just so you can see it. Um, if you go to the lighting option, you can choose the different lighting effects. Um, wave is actually pretty cool. Uh, this is the one that I that I like the most. Rippling effect changes different colors. All right, so now we're gonna jump off a high place using the Heroic Leap macro. Let's go. I'm gonna jump off here and I'm gonna aim down and all I'm gonna do is spam, just keep holding on to this button, all right? So let's... Let's do it. We'll run forward and jump. Perfect. And that is my Heroic Leap macro. All right, guys, up next, I'm going to be doing some world PvP in Dalaran Sewers using some of these macros that I made in Razor Synapse with the Razor Orb Weaver and the Razor Naga Chroma. Hope you enjoy.
All right, guys, for this video, we're gonna be giving away a Razer Orb Weaver Chroma and a Razer Naga Chroma together and a Razer Mouse Mat. So leave a comment, make sure to be subscribed and also give the video a thumbs up. So good luck, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one.